If you were ever to call my coach on the phone, you'd hear four little short words. This is Larry Mason. It lets you know that you've got the right man, in case the voice didn't give it away. It's not that there's no time for pleasantries like, hello, but a little part of me suspects that he does it just to buck the system. It's not the only way coach fights against the usual way of doing things. For instance, being environmentally conscious. Some folks recycle, some bring their own bag to the grocery store. Coach, on the other hand, says, no need to be wasteful. Why do we need a separate cooler for fishing or tennis? Yes, that cooler says bait on it. He'd be on the same seat whether he were holding that scorebook or a fishing pole. What better way to recycle than to use a tennis ball can as a water bottle? To be fair, he'd use an alternative if he had it, even if it were a Pixar cup made for little girls. Heck, following his example, we're so environmentally conscious now that sometimes we find alternatives to having bottles at all. Now, when most people sunbathe, they lie out on the sand on a towel. Actually, that's pretty much what Coach does, too. This picture just makes me giggle. Now, I don't know if you know any tennis players, but we can get a little angry and sometimes a little mouthy on the court. Now, I know this personally with my coach. When he hits a ball out or doesn't add enough spin, you might hear a golly or a larry. But if it gets really bad, and some of you might want to plug your ears, you'll hear him loudly shout, Profanity! Which I suppose is better than the alternative. Now, Coach used to be a teacher, and as much as I learned tennis on the court, I receive a lot more education besides. Gems like, well, now let me tell you about General Douglas MacArthur. Or, now I know you know how to play the Morningside hymn, but do you know who wrote it? And a very important one. If you're going to coach women, you got to let them have conversation. So after he said that, I asked the natural question. Well, how do you coach men? And he replied, you yell at them and you make them run. Sounds about right to me. Larry Mason grew up in Sioux City and went to Central High School and can remember a time even before the Chiefs mascot when we were called the Morningside Maroons. He went to Morningside, joined the Delta Sigs, taught high school history, coached basketball, and as a result, the man knows everybody in the Sioux City area. If I heard him say tomorrow, my cousin's dentist's son's wife is a Morningside alum, and I coached her sister's undertaker's air conditioning repairman in basketball. I would not bat an eye. He'd probably follow it up with, His mother was a Methodist. Nice lady. Our practices are filled with what I call Macisms. They're good, short phrases to remember what it is you're supposed to do. For instance, if it's slow, go. Meaning, if the ball is high and soft, don't wait for it to come to you. Move forward and hit it while it's high. Another is, down the middle solves the riddle. Meaning that when you're playing doubles, hitting the ball in the open area between your opponents is your best bet. Coach's favorite, though, has to be, less is more. Which probably applies to his own life. Except when it comes to his hair. Just look at those locks blowing in the wind. You'll hardly ever see Coach without a hat, but unfortunately he lost his fishing hat a few weeks ago. He's found it now, but I don't think it was in his truck like he thought. In fact, I think it was appropriated by his long-lost twin. We all like to tease him, and he's very good-natured about it, but it all comes out of love and respect. You'll never find a better man. He's dedicated to his team, he's a friend to everyone, and he truly cares about his relationships. We've all improved our tennis skills. In fact, for the first time in Morningside history, the women are the GPAC champions. And I'm sorry to have only one more semester with him. So thank you, Coach, for all that you do.